right now. So I don't think you're going to be getting that strong support, Sam. I hate to. Uh, yeah. This is the first yeah. time I've ever disagreed with you. My heart is yeah. racing right now. So let me, <laughs> am I going to get it right now? No, yeah, man. No, you know, I, I still have my hopes that 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 the poor whites and the poor blacks will flip over the table and rob everybody. But I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> like that's You all say I this a lot, but for. like there's a lot of racist poor whites, too, isn't there? Like, like really, really I racist. Don't, but poor the whites, thing right? about it is like there's level. So I look at racism like autism. <laughs> like I was sitting there talking to my god sister. She was talking about how she went to the South. And she went somewhere because we were talking about racism and stuff. And she was like, she went to this one place, like a plantation or something like that. And there's this white guy who was who owned the place. And then there's this black guy who worked for him. And like the white guy called him nigger. And like the black guy responded to it. And my god sister was sitting there like, oh, my God. But they had explained to her like, yeah, he might call him nigger, but he put 12 of his kids through college. and they've been working together for 40 years. So I'm not saying that that's okay, but I'm saying that there's a lot of weird situations going and we can sit around and try to police people's speech and people's hearts and minds. I don't need white people to not be racist. I just need white people to fight for resources for all of us to get and then we can figure out who gonna live where. That's it. Like, I don't need white people to stop being racist because I don't think that happens in this generation. I don't think you get people who've been speaking a certain way for 50, 60 years to stop speaking that way, even if you get them to not hate other races. You understand what I'm saying? Like, you're asking for a lot. Like, yeah, fair point. Yeah, very great like, point. Yeah. I'm going a, I'm to a keep it super simple. It's 2021, right? I was a teenager in the 90s. I have to super check myself with pronouns when I get in cer certain spaces. Cause I can fuck them up and that's no disrespect. It's not on purpose. Stuff keeps changing so fast. It's hard for me to keep up and I'm trying. So you want somebody's racist grandma who thought slavery was a good thing because they grew up in the South, which when they went to school in their textbooks, it told them that slavery was a good thing because slaves were fed and were happy. So you're mad at they 80 year old grandma. Yes. Sorry, it's a lie, but they were propagandized for gener for decades. I'm not trying to deprogram grandma. I don't have time for that. We can work on getting the kids to do better when we wrangle the fucking school system back from the races. But that's going to take generations. Like even with Germany, you mentioned Germany. Like that shit didn't happen in a generation where they started cleaning up how they talked about the Jews. Like it took it took it took monuments it took education, like it took years. Like we can't expect racism as in how people feel to end in a generation. We can talk about ending structural racism in a generation, but it's gonna take multiple generations to get rid of the racism that people feel that is different. But we gotta focus on the structural shit. Like I said, I don't need granny to stop saying nigga. I'd like her not to call me a nigga to my face. But, <laughs> but, but I don't need granny to stop saying it in her house by herself, mind her business, or talking to her friends. <laughs> like you as a, as a youngster could be like, granny, that's not okay. And maybe over time, granny will change.